Good evening. We start with a follow up. Last night we reported Sherman is struggling with ambulance wait times. Tonight, a Springfield Firefighter Union is saying there are not enough ambulances available in the city. This after claims two locations that needed service today didn't receive an ambulance. News Channel 20's Carson Gordy is live in the studio tonight with the details. Carson. After speaking with officials, they are split on whether the Springfield Fire Department should start its own ambulance service. The city currently uses multiple private contractors. On a Facebook post Thursday, the Springfield Firefighters Local 37 said in quote, Right now in the city of Springfield, there are no ambulances available for standby. And at the exact time, a patient that needed transport had to go into their personal vehicle because of no ambulance. Union President Kanan Reinenberger says he doesn't know the exact reason the locations did not receive one. There are days where we'll wait 20, 30, 40 minutes. Um, some of that's in the city, some of it's farther out in the city, you know, where it takes longer to get there. Um, and, and don't get me wrong, there are days when there are ambulances showing up all the time. So, so th that's the thing, though, is you can't, you can't always determine, you know, when the emergencies are going to happen. We reached out to three ambulance companies Springfield uses, Medics First, Lifestar, and America Ambulance. We were only able to reach America Ambulance for comment. And we were never notified that there was no ambulance available, nor were we dispatched to the call and unable to take it because we didn't have an ambulance. The Springfield City Council passed an ordinance requiring that the three companies have a combined six ambulances on call at all times. Reinenberger wants the city to allow the fire department to have its own vehicles. Um, we have trained providers on the fire department, over 200 of us. Um, we are all able to provide um, an advanced level of care. We just don't have the, the vehicles to do it. Ward 7 Alderman Brad Carlson says he hasn't heard concerns of the city not having enough ambulances and is skeptical of Springfield getting into the business, although he's willing to look into it. And to be honest with you, right now, I'm just not convinced uh, that it's warranted right now. In the city of Springfield budget that passed in February, in February $250,000 was budgeted to purchase the fire department's first and only ambulance, but that money has not been spent. Carlson said it was used to keep the conversation ongoing whether the city enters that field. I'm Carson Gordy. Back to you. All right, thanks, Carson. Now we have reached out to the fire chief, Ed Canny, today for comment, but we have not heard back. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.